What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer, and welcome back to Pokemon Snakewood. In the last episode, we finished off at the Sage's spot, and we made our and we were told basically that we can't do anything else until we defeat Famine. However. This is my second attempt recording this episode. And it's the same reason why I have to do repeat recordings every time. My computer. Blue screens. Again. Okay. Since we got that cleared off, uh, let's do ourselves a quick team recap. Now we fought... Before we do anything, we fought this guy. So he's back to normal. And I don't want... I didn't want to go into the bag. So... One thing I... It's a shame. It really is because... In the last episode... Or... In the field recording... Um... I know... What happened. And... I didn't particularly like it. But... The chef that we're about to fight was scary beyond all comparison. And my, my reaction was pretty good. Unfortunately, you don't get to see that anymore. You'll, you'll know why. Anyway, we're going to do a quick team recap. We got Maya Argyrados, level 33, holding the Gamblefish with Splash, Tackle, Bite, and Surf. We have Gary the Slugma, level 30, with the Brain Link. With Yawn, Ember, Rock Throw, and Harden. We got Dega, our Mystery Egg. Not holding an item quite yet, but he has Harden, Leech, Life, Tackle, and Egg Bomb. I'm thinking after we do this little section here, I'm going to give Dega the Brain Link. Because, because Gary right now is sort of level with everybody else for the most part. And Dega is really falling behind, so... That's what I'm thinking. Next is Poic or Baltoy, level 33, holding the Demon Horn with Psybeam, Harden, Ancient Power, and Rapid Spin. And last but not least, Sapuku, our level 36 Nuzleaf with Leftovers with Bide, Faint Attack, Cut, and Fake Out. Okay. So. You guys are about to see why, in the last, or in the last video, why I say, when I said, that uh, I didn't particularly like this particular fight. You're about to see why. Now, of course, he's a skilled chef, so you know he's going to have a Snorlax and a Gardevoir. This is not the same type of Snorlax. You're about to see why. I'm just going to say this right here, that Intimidate Drop means nothing. Because he's about to do this, or at least I'm thinking. Here it is. Yep, this guy has Belly Drum. Yeah. <laughs> and he's at the point that his buddy, his trainer, is about to use a Gato. Because he has two. He uses both of them on the Snorlax. Oh boy! Now, if I remember correct, oh no, he used the Gato. Um, I need to bite and hope he doesn't get the rest off. There's the flinch. Now, bite, if I remember correctly, only has a 10 or 20% chance of flinching, or 30. I'm no remember now, but he's good, definitely going to rest this turn. I'm going to surf. Oh. Oh. Of course it's a crit. It's always a crit. Let's go to Sapuku. Because at this range he may or... No, I think he will use the second Gato here. I think he will use the Gato again at this point. So there's no point in me faking out. Yeah, he's using it again. So 
So I need to take this opportunity now and restore Maya. Because Snorlax is at the point now that I can win already. And we're only five minutes in. Um, but he still has his access to rest. So let's use the zombie kook. <laughs> that name, zombie kook. Um, there's the body slam. More than likely taking Sapuku out. Yeah. At least we got Maya back up and running. At least we got part of his six stage attack increase down by one. Maya buffeted by Sandstorm. Snorlax buffeted by Sandstorm. I'm almost... No, you know what? Let's go Surf. I should have bite, actually. <gasps> Maya with the crit. Okay. He's gonna rest. I don't have any other... I think Poic might be faster than a Snorlax. I think. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try Sandstorm. Let's go with Ancient Power. That'll take him out. That was a lot. I had more trouble in the last recording than I did here. Probably because I knew what I was doing. Gardevoir, we're gonna stay in with Poic. I need to get Sapuku back up. Um, Gardevoir might be fine, actually. Let's do Ancient Power. Just see how much Ancient Power does to a Gardevoir. Oh, jeez, it did nothing. You have Light Screen. I'm going to heal up Sapuku. Because I do remember you have Shadow Ball. And that will do a nice bit of damage to Poic. So I'm going to heal up Sapuku. There's a Psychic. Shouldn't do much. Jeez, Poic. Okay. Uh, let's switch back. Let's go to Sapuku. Oh boy! Calm minds. Oh boy. Everyone's favorite psychic type move. To increase special attack and special defense by a stage each. Or is it two? I think it's one. Fun times. Fun times ahead. Now, this faint attack should do a nice bit of damage. Because it did like half last time. Oh, right. You got the light screen up. Good thing that Shadow Ball does nothing. Uh. Faint attack again. Now you shouldn't have any more Gatos at this point. Shouldn't. There's a Shadow Ball. It's not going to do much, if anything. There's a light screen wearing off. If you have yourself another Gato, it doesn't matter at this point. Buffeted by Sandstorm, that's fine. Tapuku's Leftovers goes off. And Faint Attack for the kill. I just realized I gotta do the voice again. Alright. Skill Chef is down. Now, normally I would go... Actually, you know what? I should keep my items. I need to go back and heal. And I'm not going to go back to the monastery because that's locked off. I make that same mistake every time. <laughs> Alright. 
Back to Maville. We'll heal up. Now, I do know what happens here. Um, so, we might, <laughs> yeah, so we're basically up to par where we were to last, when my computer crashed. Um, because it was halfway through the next fight, and it wasn't against Famine. You'll see why. So... If you guys have any su nah, I was gonna be like, if you have suggestions for a new computer, I already got parts made, I just need to order them. Alright. <laughs> really? In front of the chef, Graveler. Interesting. I don't need a rock type. I don't. Just run away. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna do two things. No, I'm not. Okay. So, we're gonna leave Maya up front. Um, yeah, we're gonna leave Maya up front. And we'll do this. Oh? Who's this, then? This is Chris, sir. The one who's been causing so much trouble. I see. You must be the one who defeated my sister and ruined our demon invasion in the West. If you don't mind me saying, you look very familiar. Have we met? I don't know. I don't know. I lost my memory when you guys destroyed my town. Who are you? What do you want? And where's my brother in May? Oh, so many questions. Foo 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 foo. It really is you. I never thought you survived that attack. As for your brother, well... You've come to the right place. He was here once. He discovered my little pet and would have defeated it had we not captured him and his friend in time. Where are they? Tell me! Foo 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 foo. You always were funny when angry. Lord Grave Trick always used like to say so. Bah, I've had enough of this. Alicia, destroy him. Alrighty. Alright, Alicia, let's do this. Alright, Alicia. Now, I do know you use all ghost types. You used Fake Out last time. So, if I remember correctly, you used Fake Out and then Detect last time. There's the Fake Out. Which I'm not too... Not too worried about. Um, we'll go surf. There's a there's a detect. I almost said protect, but it's detect. Okay, now I should be able to take you out. At this point. May I surf? You hit two in a row. Are you serious? All right. Okay. All right. We'll do it. Fine, we'll do it your way. We'll do it your way, sure, fine, okay. Bye bye, Sableye. Oh, Mayo with the crit again! Ooh, boy! <sighs> Bennett, we'll stay in. No, Bennett last time killed itself using Curse. That's what it did last time. If Maya could get another crit here, that'd be fantastic. No, there's the curse. I'm switching out because you went to Duskull, I think last time. If I remember correctly, Duskull. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna go out to. You know what? Let's go to Gary. Gary haven't seen much action lately. Oh, Gary's actually close to level up, holy crap. Now, last time, Duskull also used Curse. 
let's use Ember. Astonish. Interesting. But I got Flame Body. So your attacks will do no... Wow. That, that Ember did nothing. On the plus side, you get burned. Um... Let's try Rock Throw. Pursuit. I'm not switching, boy. Oh my god, that did nothing. Okay. If you use Curse again, that's fine. Oh no, you already used Pursuit. Never mind. Alright, let's use Ember. This should be the turn in which you die. Yeah, because the Sandstorm, if the Sandstorm doesn't take you out, the burn will. No, okay, it'll be the burn. Dusk all, or Gary's about to get a 726 experience. Woohoo! 31. Sneasel. Sneasel was a big pain in my ass last time. Thankfully, this isn't Gen 4, because Weavall was Gen, was Gen 4. Level 38! Ooh! Okay, at least that faint attack did not... did nothing. Oh my god, the surf. Sneasel. Okay. May have buffeted. Let's do another one. Next turn, I'll heal. We're down 58. Oh, no, 58 to 45. No, we can survive another one. Sandstorm Rage is on. I think this is her last mod, too, actually. You know what? This is her only non ghost type. Interesting. Because Sneasel is. Uh, Ice Dark. All of her other mods were part ghost. Interesting. And Alicia goes down finally. And she just da 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 da. She doesn't speak to me. I knew it. You always were better than me. Alicia, what is all this? Why does everyone know me? Who are you really? Perhaps I have to tell you after all. Go on. I, I don't know. I need to think about this. We've all worked so hard to make this attack real. And. She goes off. Fine. Every time I meet, <laughs> anytime I meet everyone, there are just more mysteries piling up. I have to get to the bottom of this and find my brother. And for that, I'll need to find Famine and Alicia. What? Oh, jeez. I thought I was being healed. Uh, uh, hi. Your 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 Pokemon your Pokephone's tracker cut out for a while, a couple hours ago. So I got worried. What happened? I was underground, very deep underground. There were madmen and orange aid. Orange aid? Sounds like fun. No, 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 it wasn't. Anyway, what's happening now? I'm in the desert where my brother supposedly discovered something. I just met Famine of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, and that Alicia knew. Or in Alicia too. I see. I have to. I tell you to keep searching, but I have a request. Oh god, what now? I've been contacted by the good people of the Mountain Monastery. I was just there. Literally two episodes ago, I was just there. The what? Oh, you lost your memory, right. The monastery was built on the site of Lava Ridge Town after Lava Ridge was destroyed. Go there and tell a guy called Sage Kenzaki that I sent you. What's this about, by the way? All in good- Why is no one telling me anything? Here I am. I am a guy. Okay. I got a major problem right now. The, you start off the game having no memory. You wake up, everything's basically, you know, zombie apocalypse. And no matter how many times the main character 
asks for quest asks for answers, he never gets them. Why did I lose my memory? People don't say. I have a request for you. Why do you want me to go here? You'll know in due time. I don't know. This... <sighs> this game has so many questions and no answers. But I guess we'll find out more, I guess, in the next episode, because we were at this monastery before, so we should have no problems getting back there. So. Um, we're gonna continue on with the story. We're gonna head up to the monastery, like we were- like we did before. And, yeah. So, that's been this episode. <laughs> if you guys enjoy the video, be sure to click up that thumb- Click up the thumbs up button. Click the thumbs up button, like you never clicked it before, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer, and I will see you in the next video.